Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews. In this video, we're talking about the iOS 10.3.1 exploit, which is expected to be released during the upcoming week. And also a very nice thing that we will get from this exploit, which is downgrading back to iOS 10.2. So let's dig further into it and see when we will get the exploit and what can people do with that exploit. So the Hack in the Box conference will be held next week from August 21st, which is Monday up to Friday. So the hacker, that the security researcher that will, re will release the exploit will have his speech, I believe, on Friday, which is the last day of this conference. But of course, as we might expect him to release the exploit that day, he might even release it earlier. So on Twitter, someone asked him, when he will release the exploit will it be at the beginning of the conference or by the end of, re of the conference when his speech is and he said how about before the conference so he lets us know here say that he might even release it before the conference so maybe this weekend he will release these exploits so for ios 10.3.1 the exploit by adam who is a security researcher and we have been waiting for this exploit for quite a long now so this exploit of course allows for a jailbreak tool to be created for ios 10.3.1 of course someone has to take on the challenge the security researcher adam won't create by himself a tool but as I, as he said earlier he will be willing to help anyone that wants to create a jailbreak tool utilizing his exploit so if a team of hackers or a team of devs takes on the challenge to, to create this jailbreak tool he will help them to create it of course creating a jailbreak tool from this exploit will at least take maybe a couple of weeks and right now we are at the end of august and if someone tries to create a jailbreak tool this maybe might be released during this first by the end of the first week of september or during the second week of september by that time we will be very very close to the release of ios 11 so that's very bad of course a lot of people will want to update to ios 11 and won't jailbreak their device won't be waiting for a jailbreak so that's very bad we wish we had this even earlier but the good thing is that the exploit will be released so in a week we will probably have it and let's see what else we can get using this exploit so according to luca tedesco a kernel exploit alone is not enough to create a jailbreak however for those that have shsh2 blobs saved they can downgrade using the exploit so if you have your shsh2 blobs saved then you will be able to go ahead and downgrade your device back to ios 10.2 and then of course jailbreak it using yalu 10.2 so probably you have saved them if you have watched my videos or any of the videos of the other guys that upload videos about jailbreaking and stuff related to jailbreaking everyone it's all the time saying save your shsh blobs so if you have them saved using utilizing this exploit that will be released you will be able to downgrade back to 10.2 of course this exploit will work only on ios 10.3.1 and lower if you're on 10.3.2 then you're out of luck so that's pretty much it for this video guys expect this exploit to be released very very soon maybe before a week we will have this exploit released and from then we can see what the devs will do with it probably someone will take on the challenge and try to create a jailbreak tool out of this exploit for ios 10.3.1 so that's it keep up with the news by subscribing also go ahead and follow me on my social media you will find all the links in the description of the video